Hey everybody, I'm Seth Williams from retipster.com and today I'm talking with Philip Tun of REI Print Mail. I've always wondered what goes into a direct mail campaign from the actual factory. Like what happens when you order your campaign and how is it printed and mailed out? And what does that whole process look like? And uh, what are some things about uh, this operation that the average person might not know? We're going to find out all that today as Philip's going to give us a walkthrough and we'll learn more about it. Absolutely. Ari Tips, are you guys ready for an open book, full visual of REI Print Mail where all the magic happens? Let's do it. Right here is all our production managers where um, they are going to look over every order that goes yeah, through, make sure everything's yes. imprinted right, make sure your list is properly columnized there for you, and then making sure the final mail piece is what you guys are approving. So if you place an order with us, you're gonna get here from them. They're gonna be the ones that are pretty much the overviewer. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is Seth jumping in here. Just want to let you know, if you ever want to use REI print mail, all you got to do is go through our affiliate link. That's retipster.com forward slash REI print mail. You can help support the RE Tipster community and get a 10% discount on your first order with them. As you'll see, this is an amazing company. They're doing awesome things. And you're going to see what I mean as we continue through this tour. But again, if you want to use REI print mail, just click through the RE Tipster affiliate link that will help support the RE Tipster community. And you can get a nice little discount on your first order. Here's our war room. Uh, I love calling this our war room. This is where we have a lot of our coaches come in here. And this is where we discuss between all our coaches on what's working in the market, what's actually being sent out as an active campaign right now, what mail piece is getting triggering the highest results. A little statistics on the board there. It looks like the first one is a check mailer that went out to California, about 20,000 pieces, how many calls they got there, and then how many deals did they actually close up. North Carolina, another hot market there. It's like another check mailer is going sent out there. Get the drift here. Mm -hmm. Check yeah. mailer seems to be outperforming most of our mail pieces, sure. but 7,000 mailers, two to three deals out of that right there. How many coaches uh, work for this company at this point? 10 coaches. Okay. 10 coaches just like myself. And that's okay. one of the key components that sets REI print mails completely different from any other mail house, right? Mm -hmm. Most other mail houses call you and say, hey, if you have a list, send it to us, go on our website, pick the shiniest piece. Mm -hmm. Here, someone like myself, one of our direct marketing coaches, mm -hmm. they're there to give you that guidance, that expert advice. Hey, what is actually working? How many pieces are, am I going to need for my first campaign? Yeah. What mail piece works best in my market? What's the cadence? How often should I send that piece? Mm -hmm. And then they kind of build out our progress report on, hey, this is our expectation because we're using solid statistics on what's currently working right now with our yeah. investors using us. Yeah. So what are like the typical takeaways from these kind of meetings? Is it mostly just figuring out, you know, these are the mail pieces that are working or like how frequently do you send it out or... And how do you find out what is working for people? Do they follow up with you somehow to let you know? Absolutely, like, oh. yeah. So that's that's the other thing with your direct marketing coach. They follow up on your campaign. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you sent out 10,000 pieces in this specific market and you use that mail piece, how many phone calls did you get? Mm -hmm. I want to know the total phone calls, good and bad. Mm -hmm. And then of the total phone calls, how many good ones, I mean? Because I want to know total phone calls because that tells me one thing. Mm -hmm. And this is the, one of the main reasons it got past the trash can into their hands. Mm -hmm. They had to open it up to get my phone number. Yeah. And that's a key component, yeah. right? Is my mail working at that? Is it difficult to get your customers to actually track that stuff and pay attention and tell you? We're hands-on with them. So every single time I personally launch a campaign, I have a two-week follow-up the day we ship it out to the post office mm -hmm. saying, hey, here's our list. You guys have that built in. Or some people have smartphone or they have call rail where it actually is a tracking phone number. So it'll trigger how many times does that number get? Yeah, I mean, I want to think about a typical direct mail campaign. Like one of the things that's always frustrated me about it is how there's so many ways you can mess it up. Like you can get the wrong list, don't filter it right, or send out the wrong mail piece, or send it wrong time of the year, or have your offer prices wrong. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's lots of ways it can fall apart. Yep. But it sounds like you're doing a good job of making sure each one of those loose ends are kind of tied up, right? Like we can control this, and this, and this, and this, and then we follow up and find out if it actually worked. Absolutely. Right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. And not just saying, hey, these are recommendations based on line recommendations. We're actually looking live time, kind of like an insider trade. Hey, this is what's currently working with this investor in that market. Mm -hmm. You know, keeping the privacy saying, hey, we're not going to disclose your name unless you want us to. But hey, we do have investors in that market. This is what they're having success with. Let's not try to reinvent that wheel. Mm -hmm. Let's link on to what's working right now in today's market and then grab the deals we can. Like we were discussing earlier, this is where all our direct marketing coaches, you call in, you get one of our callers, they'll set you up with an appointment here. Our coaches will reach out to you, discuss what's working in your market and answering those questions that we just went over as well. And then here's our statistics board here on how much mail is actually going out. So you'll see the big numbers here coming out daily, weekly, and then our monthly sales as well. How much direction do you need a client to have when they first contact you? Like, do you want them to be able to say, I want to go after this market for this property type, 
in this value range, this kind of mail piece, here's my offers. Like, do you need them to have all those answers or how much of those gaps do you fill in for them? Whatever gaps are there, mm -hmm. we, we're, we're known to be direct mail marketing for real estate investors, mm -hmm. but we also offer that expert advice. So we kind of answer those questions when someone's just getting into the market or even the big guys that are already in the market and doing 10, 15 deals a month. We'll try to fill in the gaps as best we can with proven results and proven statistics on our advice. Yeah, I got to think even people who have tons of experience, there's always that question of like, what am I not seeing or what do I not know? You know, oh, like um, just getting any kind of outside input, especially from people like you who are like in this every day, seeing behind the scenes from many different uh, companies. 100%. And it's, you know, the big investors, Five years ago, we're sending that the golden letter mm -hmm. that worth great or the notice postcard. How is that yielding today? What's the ROI on those? Yeah. And what's shifted? And we're live time seeing what's actually shifting on direct mm -hmm. mail. Yeah. Why is direct mail still outperforming and yielding a higher ROI across mm -hmm. the board? And these are the reasons why is because we watch it every day. Yeah. We're watching investors do it. And then we're providing that advice, true transparency across mm -hmm. the board. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what the typical shelf life is on like a mail piece, like the notice postcard, for example. Like, mm -hmm. does it last for like, five years and it doesn't work anymore or is it like uh, two years or yeah know. every mail piece is going to have its own shelf life yeah. right and we'll tell you lifetime hey time to convert mm -hmm. time to switch out because it's you know oversaturated overused mm -hmm. just like the yellow letter handwritten yeah. lovely envelope yeah. overused oversaturated got associated with a low ball offer mm -hmm. stop working what's working today's market is our check mailers and mm -hmm. it's absolutely number one performing piece across the board yeah. right now mm -hmm. and how much does it cost to use one of your templates so with our templates it's all priced according to per touch, per quantity. Mm -hmm. So quantity, template, and postage. That's mm -hmm. how we price everything. Everything's custom. The rates are based on that quantity. That's gonna be mm -hmm. one of the key specifics. How much mail are we printing at one time? There's no commitment, no, hey, we gotta buy credits mm -hmm. and then use up our credits. No, you just pay for your campaign, your mm -hmm. marketing mail, and your data, if you will provide them data, mm -hmm. and postage. Let's go on to the next room, next up. So down here, we're actually gonna go to where all the magic happens. You know, this Ooh. is my favorite part. This I is love... what I've always wanted about this. Yes. What it looks like to watch the stuff being made. Absolutely. So coming down here, so when it comes to direct mail, you know, and we've seen this happen before in the past where people have come to us and said, hey, you know, do you guys carry this in stock? Do you guys have this in stock? Mm -hmm. And one of the problems that, that we see across the industry is that they run out of paper supply. We carry a year's worth of supply because of mm -hmm. the volume we do, and we don't ever run into that problem. Saying, hey, your mail is always going to go out in time because we know how important that is for real estate investors mm -hmm. to Make sure their mail and that consistency is key. What happens if a company that you're using runs out of paper? Then that consistency goes away, possibly lose a lot more deals and leaving money on yeah. the table for other investors to work on it. Does that happen a lot where like a, a paper company goes under or like a certain product that they make, just they stop making it? Oh, 100%, absolutely. Yeah. Have we ran into that issue? We have not because of our model here. Mm -hmm. We want to carry a year's worth of supply. So if that problem does arrive and we know that that stock is going down or mm -hmm. that, that quantity supply is going down, yeah. we'll be able to fulfill it and we have a whole year to do it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Cool. You'll see it on other, other people's websites. Hey, out of stock, out of stock. Oh, interesting. You won't find that on ours. Hmm. Here's something I love looking at, Seth, is this is everybody's mail that's actually going out. You know, these are separate drops. But what mm -hmm. you're looking at is we have to bundle it mm -hmm. for the post office. Everything gets bundled by zip code. So this is a, you know, could be one person's or all in one cart, mm -hmm. different mailers going out to uh, different states and then broken down by zip codes as well. Okay. We'll be bundling it Is it, it all like a standard pre-sort postage for the most part? Or? It depends on what postage you use. So mm -hmm. some will be first class, some will be pre-sort. So variations on it. And that, that will drive the determining factor for price as well. You know, if you want your mail out within three days with first class, typically that, that time frame is one to seven days for first class postage. If you're using the standard marketing mail, bulk mail is what they used to call it, but I believe it's called marketing mail today. About two to four delivery time frame. But when we track it, honestly, when we're tracking it right now, we're seeing about a three to 10 day delivery time anyways. Okay. Our coaching, we'll talk about postage with, with our clients. Hey, why use first class? Why use standard? What are the benefits and what are the pros and cons about it? Yeah, mm -hmm. I've heard different people say things like, it's important to use this kind of paper or uh, this color of paper or put a picture on the mail piece or, you know, all kinds of different theories okay. on that. How much does that stuff matter? Or like, what do you think is the most important component of that? Is it ultimately like the words that you're saying or like the font that you're using? Or I don't know if you ever thought through like a hierarchy of like this matters the most oh. and then this matters the least. Absolutely. Make so thoughts? what matters when it comes to the mail? Mm -hmm. How do I get past that trash can? into their doors. How do I get it red? Yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. Alone is one of the key components there. But then also, how do I trigger that phone call once I get it red? When it comes to color variations, we've seen it over time, maybe an uptake here and there on pink paper versus yellow paper. Could be a psychological thing like, hey, if you got two 
cupcakes and they're both vanilla flavored, mm -hmm. but the pink one's there and the, and the plain vanilla is there. Mm -hmm. Pink always tastes sweeter. And then oh. another thing I've seen is putting a female's name. Mm, yeah, Less sales mini. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So down here, you're going to see these machines running 24 seven, okay. uh, seven days a week. We we're printing out about two, two million pieces on average, plus a million something every month here. So yeah. you'll see some of our mailers going in here. Um, I believe this is one of our machines down here. So you can see it going through the machine. This is uh, actually stuffing it, folding the envelope. Comes in as a flat paper, comes right through. It's getting printed on at the same time. It's kind of cool, like a candy factory, right? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> With every single piece of mail that comes in here for the real estate investors, it's just a deal, 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 deal. deal. Yeah. I love it. It's yeah. kind of what I had in my head. Why didn't that go look like <laughs> It's when they say printing money, this is it. Yeah, yeah good. <laughs> yeah. Kind of looks like it too. So you'll see it came in as a paper. Now it's getting stuffed in here, and we're oh, yeah. actually folding them together. Huh? And here's one of them. Now, because it's it's ordered a certain way, but now you'll see the check mailers coming out there. Yeah. You know, on the front of that one just says pay to the order of. So yeah. if you got a, something like that, yeah. tell me you're not gonna open it. Yeah. You know, nobody throws away money. Right? Yeah. So that is one of our machines there. Here's another one. Here's a pressure sealed perforated check. And like I said, check yeah. mailers are what's working in the market. And we know that right now. You'll see this one getting printed through. It actually, it, it actually does a trifold here. So you're seeing it get pressure sealed or screw it out. And it comes out and get it organized down here. I said, not only do we just do mail for real estate investors, but we also, like like we said in the past, we do buy, we've bought 23 different companies over the past 10 years. One of is a publishing company where we can do uh, published books, print books for them, okay. and bind books there. Cool. This is going to be our press room where most of our copy machines are. We've just got some new equipment here as well. So our postcard, this is where we actually cut those postcards oh, sure. for you. Yeah. You'll be able to see that there. Mm -hmm. The bigger postcards, that we do see a higher response rate when you send a bigger postcard. This is a, a four sheets. It has a lot of our technology on this one. It's a great example. As our Accutex, where it generates a short code for every single mail piece, you're going to see the Google Street image, the satellite image, parcel of the land there. So a great piece here. So every single postcard has a different code that's sent to the same number, Correct. or they can just call the phone number. Every piece has a different image on it, right? Correct, yeah. Okay. So the image is going to reflect the property that we're going after there. Okay. So that's the beauty of it. It tells you the address there. It tells you the uh, shows the Google Street image of the house, the satellite aerial image of it. If it's a parcel yeah. of land, it'll have the where that land's at. Street image of that parcel looks like. And then every short code there. The reason why every single short code is created by us is because if they text that, that's mm -hmm. AccuText, kind of that text one two three to A B C D F G. Yeah. Same concept. When they text that, it's an automatic response to the the seller's phone and they fill out their name information and then the, our clients get an email kind of an email drip hey this is who mm -hmm. responded to you this is the person that's interested yeah. in it when the text comes back to them after they send this is it like a link to a website or they just like answer like text back more information about themselves yeah or? it's just a texting concept okay. yeah mm -hmm. you can keep that auto response to say hey here's mm -hmm. a link to my website sure. yep so that ends up getting cut like this and like that right correct so it's yep. one big Honky yeah, postcard. so about an eight and a half by five and a half on this postcard okay. here. And that was a machine right there that cut it. Cool. And on the back of it, it's the same thing. Does that thing end up costing less than like uh, two pages in an envelope? Or is that more expensive because you got color and the size and all Correct. that? Correct. So you get, take in consideration the size, the, the ink, the postcard, but we're around the same pay, uh, yeah. price. You know, everything's going to be dependent on quantity. The yeah. more, if, you know, if you're sending mass quantity, it's obviously going to drive that price yeah. down for us. So. Do you have like professional copywriters in house or like who's the genius that comes up with just like the visuals and all that? Like, Oh, we have our whole design team that comes up with these correct. ideas. Yeah. And what we see on the market, you know, we have other investors out there that feed us ideas and say, hey, can you guys come up with this concept for us mm. and just draw it from blank? And we'll yeah. come up with it, kind of design it, mesh both of them together and say, hey, let's beta test this one, see if it's mm -hmm. working in that market. Because we don't know. We don't have any track record sure. on it. Yeah. So until we actually send it out there, that's the true meaning of a test case here. So coming through down here, like I said, we print about 2 million pieces on average mm -hmm. every month and it's just growing rapidly. Uh -huh. This is actually the largest digital press room in the Midwest right now. And, we wow. were, and you're walking right through it, guys. Cool. Yeah. It's like holy ground right here. <laughs> Absolutely. Here's one of our favorite pieces out here as well. This is called our Mega Mailer. Uh -huh. This is like sending someone a poster. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we've... That's huge. Prices, yeah, it, it's a postcard, but it's uh, we pulled it three ways here, mm -hmm. and it is just a slap in the face. So if you got this, trust me, you're reading it. Yeah. Yep. 
and we can change the verbiage for land, we change the verbiage for single family residential, what we're going after. Yeah. But what we'll do is we'll test it out before we even go live with it and say, hey, is it triggering, or is it yielding a response? And I know, I know everybody has that stipulation. Well, handwritten note, handwritten looks better. But if yeah. you look at this, with technology nowadays, yeah. it almost looks as if someone took their Sharpie and wrote on yeah. there. Well, it, the imperfections in it, too. I mean, that it yeah. looks not as sloppy as I would draw, but, you know, sloppy <laughs> enough to look human. Yeah, I'm looking right at it. I mean, that looks like straight up marker. Like, yeah. I would be very hard for me to, I don't think I could. Well, it. And it has the gloss of a, as, as a marker would have done. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it just pops out of that paper. It's So is this in test stage or is this like full production? This is full production. Yeah, right. we have we have clients using this right now. And okay. we know to a certain extent on which how this yields higher results in certain areas, uh -huh. you know. Because not every area is the same, and you won't know that until you know you set that call, set that appointment up with someone over here at our effort mail. Why do you think that is? Like that different things work different in different markets. I mean, is it even possible to know that, or is it just weird human psychology stuff? It, you know what? At the end of the day, if you had a hundred people in the room, every single individual is going to be different. Yeah. But we're just playing a lot of numbers here, and at the end of the day, if we see it yielding a higher response rate, getting a better ROI, guess what? That just tells us. Yeah couple things in that market saying hey so this works i've heard people say like theorize about why certain things work better than others and i think what they're actually saying is this is what i would respond to not necessarily what exactly the at the end of the day you take yeah. the emotion out of the deal yeah. and make it a business transaction one plus one equals two i want to yeah. buy your house let me say buy your yeah. house here's my amount yeah. i mean really the only way to actually know in any educated way is to have the data to back it up which you guys have right exactly yeah. at the end of the day that's we we gain all that data from yeah. Following up with our investors, hey, give us your feedback, and you're yeah. trusting us saying, hey, this is our recommendation because we're basing it solely on hard facts. I wonder if other mail companies do that. I'm sure everybody has fancy templates and stuff, but the follow up piece, like finding out, like, did that work for you, customer? Well, it doesn't seem common because that would be a lot of work to do that. And that's the other thing, right? Most other mail houses, they will print. We yeah. are specifically geared towards real estate investments yeah. and yeah. real estate investors. So yeah. having that data there, backing everything up. Yeah, for sure. Like I said, we got more copiers going all the time. This is the starting stage of that self mailer that you saw getting yeah. folded over there. Mm -hmm. So we print all everybody's information on there, branded for their company. So this is where it's yeah. printed, you know, where this there's is where more stuff? Correct. Okay. So it's printed here, folded, pressure sealed over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Is that ever like um, liability or anything? Like, do people ever say, hey, you're trying to impersonate the IRS because that looks a lot like a tax form? Like, no, nope. so everything that we've printed or designed here, we've already know that it's been approved. Mm -hmm. We're allowed to use it. It's just marketing. Okay. At the end of the day. Yeah. Convey some type of marketing technique to get them to open. And yes and no, we've had people say, hey, you can't do that, but mm -hmm. there's nothing. Yeah, that's doesn't legal. Say yep. IRS mm -hmm. on there. I mean, there's yeah. nothing about it. Yep. You thought if that they interpreted it the wrong way, then, okay. yeah. <laughs> but it got you to open it. Yeah. yeah. What's Americans' favorite season? Tax season. This one looks like a W-2. Yeah. <laughs> that is a, a piece I absolutely love right now in the market, especially this time of year. Mm -hmm. You're sending out, a almost looks like they're W-2. Yeah. Open it back up. The verbiage is, hey, you want to buy your house? Yeah. You guys have some kind of like brainstorming crew, like looking forward five years, like when this stops working, this is the next thing we're going to do. Absolutely. You got to hold your horses there, there, Seth. You got to hold the horses. We, you know, one step at a time. We can't give you all the magic all at once. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Let's go this way. Like so just like you said there, Seth, you're asking about, you know, brainstorming, the design team, what's working in the market, who comes up with these ideas for our mail pieces. Yeah. Well, here it is. This is our design right team. Here. Yeah. Okay. This, this room right here, all these offices that you see here, let's see. They might be too busy building some new pieces, but mm -hmm. as a company, we're feeding them ideas. They're giving us ideas and then they're designing mm -hmm. it here. These cubicles here, this is where you yeah, asked me where all the designs come from. Mm -hmm. How's it come up with? And then also our list purifiers, I like to call them, mm -hmm. because what they're going to do is they're going to run your list that you send us or the list that we pull to make sure it's not on the cast system. And if there's a national change of address, mm -hmm. if someone went to the post office and said, hey, here's my new address, forward all my mail there, that automatically gets done for you. Mm -hmm. We do that on the back end for yeah. you that you don't know. Any um, missing errors on your order that you placed yourself or you had your coach place it, if there's any missing things, let's say a county, zip code, APN, parcel number. These guys are the ones that are giving you that, yeah. that feedback saying, hey, we need this, this, and this. Reach out to one of our coaches. Our coaches will give you a call. Yeah. So if I come to you with the design that I want to use, can you like work with that and make that apply to your stuff or does it have to be a design that you guys have uh... no 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 absolutely we can do 100 percent. if it gets printed we can make mm -hmm. we can do full custom pieces the only downfall is that, is that we don't know how well that piece is going to perform so it would be a testing stage but absolutely at the end of the day mm -hmm. if you have a idea that 
it just sparked and you said, Hey, this idea might work. Yeah. Give us a call. We'll love to test it for you. Yeah. However, we can't give you any statistics on, Hey, this is the response I would expect out of it. Mm -hmm. We'll give you our feedback saying, Hey, great idea. But the only way we're going to move forward is by testing. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. What kind of skill set does it take to like design mail pieces like this? I mean, imagine it's like graphic design, but then you also have to like have a mind for marketing, I mean, psychology and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know. I'm not on this team. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I've been working for Well, you call us, you get the whole company yeah. all in one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. How many people work here now? I think we're shy. Uh, Right around 100, 120 employees, wow. I think we have on staff. About 100, 120 employees. So one of the largest, if not the largest, yeah, when it comes to direct mail marketing mm -hmm. for real estate investors. Yeah. It was all right here in this office? We have the REI Complete team that's down in San Diego mm -hmm. and a couple of different departments. Throughout the what do they do over there? So REI Complete is more of our CRM, mm -hmm. our VA qualifying oh, okay. team. Yep. And then we have our VAs from the Philippines as well. So, mm -hmm. yep. so you have like a CRM that people can work with too? Absolutely. 100%. Or? Yeah. So it's an all done for you business model. Mm -hmm. When we're ready to get to that point and scale up and get your leads qualified with our VA team. I call them tunnel vision VAs because mm -hmm. those VAs, what they're doing is they're taking that initial phone call. You have to get inbound leads to come in. So direct mail, bandit signs, billboards. Mm -hmm. It disclose the phone number. It goes into the, the CRM. The VAs will qualify them saying, mm -hmm. hey, run them through a live answer script, about 25 questions, mm -hmm. name, phone number, email, just the typical questions on a real estate transaction. And mm -hmm. then they, they do is they pass that along to the real estate investor. And the investor looks on their dashboard and says, hey, that's hot. The VAs qualify it, whether it's a hot, warm, neutral, cold lead. Mm -hmm. And the investor will log onto their dashboard, take a look at it, and then walk that prospect from step A to step Z. Set up appointments, track your phone calls. And the main thing is this is another way we can track how well that mail piece is doing because those clients that do have that CRM, they put that tracking phone number on there, we're tracking the KPIs oh, on it. Yeah, that helps a lot. So, hey, you spent this much, you yielded this result. Mm -hmm. Simple algorithm saying, hey, this is how much each yeah. cost per call, cost yeah. per lead. Does it cost extra to use that CRM? Yes. Okay. So we have three different uh, tiers on that package and mm -hmm. call one of our coaches and they'll discuss it and making sure that package will fit your business needs. Mm -hmm. REI Print Mail is not just a direct mail marketing company. Mm -hmm. We require different companies here. So a lot of our investors, they want something custom for their business. They want uh -huh. some type of embroidery. We bought an embroidery company to help alleviate that. Mm -hmm. So custom t-shirts that are being made here, also hats. So that's we really can print your logo on a shirt, get yeah. it embroidered on. Now that's that's embroidery. So that's mm -hmm. that whole sewing, higher yeah. quality. Also, we have the hats going on right now. This is something cool. The stuff that you guys embroider, is it the kind of thing where like, if I want a hundred shirts, like I have to order a hundred and then it all gets shipped to me and I keep that inventory or do you like drop ship it? Like, it, hey, I sold a shirt. Can you ship that one to that person? You don't do that. No, right? so we'll send it to you. Yeah, right, we'll ship you. it all to you. There. Or if it's going to an event, we've done this before where we'll print uh, embroidered here, um, ship the whole, all, the whole pack to the event. So that way you guys oh, yeah. can have that for an event. But yes. Cool. Would you say you do mostly shirts and hats? Like are those the two diggies that you embroider? No, you go on our, our graphic connections group website and it'll show you every single promotional item. So post-its, bandit signs, we print any, if it gets printed on, if it gets embroidered, we'll do it all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it wouldn't even have to be clothing, right? Like if I had like a uh, ping pong balls or shot glasses. Absolutely, or yeah, too. yeah. Well, nice. the new thing is pickleball. Oh, right, so you right. You gotta use the pickleball rackets <laughs> right now, that. yeah. <laughs> I was wondering, uh, I don't know if you have a sense for of your uh, customers, how many of them are like house flippers or house wholesalers or land flippers or realtors or something totally different? Got it. Like, is there a pie chart of what kind of people use you? Me personally, the, the clients that I work with personally, I work with about 40% of my book of business is going to be that land investor. Mm -hmm. And then 60% is about the single family, residential, commercial, multifamily space sure. unit there. Yeah. Do we track on percentage wise? I don't, we don't. You know. In terms of like what works between those two um, niches, like is it kind of the same stuff or do people that respond to sell their houses, is that different from a person selling their land? Like different kind of messaging? Oh, yes. Every campaign that we build out is custom for what we're trying to acquire. That's that's one of the, the biggest questions that I will always ask every investor that calls me. And it is a different niche. It is a different different style marketing technique. Mm -hmm. And we'll disclose that every single time. Yeah. So this is our, our marketing department. This is where you see all of the great clips of REI Print Mail, all our commercials yeah. done here. REI Print Mail is always about human relations. Mm -hmm. We've always, that's our philosophy. 
us. Hey, you're, if you call us, you're going to get a real person. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest things is, hey, how do you get on a coach's calendar? You can either go through the link or who follows up and who maintains that best practice for the investor. Mm -hmm. yeah. These are our callers. I mean, they're dialing. These are the coaches right here? These are not the coaches. These are the, the callers that set the appointments up for the you. coaches. Okay. Yeah, You're the coach. That's the yeah, other coach. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the sales team yeah. over there, the, the coaches over yeah. there, direct marketing coaches. And these guys are the ones that keep our coaches in line. Mm -hmm. All right. You know? Cool. <laughs> yeah. Fill up our calendars, build out those time slots for mm -hmm. us. Here's one of our, our favorite rooms here at RAI Print Mail. This is where we film a lot of our clips, our commercials. Nice. And then we bring in, you know, RE Tipster community, and it's an open space for everybody. So if you ever want to use this, this is an open game for you. So. Cool. It's not a real brick wall? <laughs> it's not a multiple backdrops. You've been tricking here. me this whole time? You guys have like a podcast or YouTube channel, or you shoot all that stuff here? Uh, we do our, our short reels and a couple long reels on YouTube on RAI Print Mail uh, YouTube's channel. So. Mm -hmm. Definitely, if your community wants to keep up on the latest yeah. market trends and what's working in that market, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, okay. we'll include a link in the description if you guys want to subscribe to REI Print Mail. Does that wrap it all up? Is that pretty much everything? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thanks for the time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's great to see everything. I appreciate it. And hope you all learned something along the way and got some ideas on how this kind of operation works. Yep. And if you're ever in St. Louis, our doors are always open for any investor that wants to learn a little bit more or even do their own personal tour. We are open to it.